Hey guys, what's up? Um, today is officially my six months on testosterone, so I figured I would make a video kind of talking about changes that have happened over the past six months. Um, also, it is tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow will be two weeks post-op, so I'll show you guys what my chest is looking right, like right now. Um, that's my goat up on the back of the couch. Are you toasting? Um, so I'm just going to jump right in. Uh, obviously my voice has changed a lot. Um, I will put a couple clips of one of some of my first videos in here just to show how far I've come. Um, my hair is getting thicker overall. Uh, it's also coarser. I had really, really soft, fine hair before. Now it's like kind of rough. In general, I've gained more weight. I think I've gained, what, 25 pounds, babe? 25, 30. 25, 30 pounds in the past six months. Um, and it's just made me bigger. It's not like extra weight. It's more muscle than anything, even though I don't work out. My hands have gotten bigger. I'm sure that's probably normal. But I used to be able to measure seven inches like this, and now it's like eight inches. So it's an entire inch wider, which I think is ridiculous. Feet have probably gotten bigger too, but I don't really usually measure things with my feet, so I don't really notice. My shoes do fit tighter, um, which is nice, because I specifically bought my dress shoes a little bit big, because I figured I'd be gaining some weight and changing sizes. I'm glad I did. Um, my leg hair is starting to grow all the way up my legs, like all the way up my legs. It's all over everywhere, um, and I have a lot of hair all over my stomach and my chest. None of it is really that dark, except for on my, like, below my knee is really dark. Um, I do have a lot of facial hair coming in. It's just also, again, not dark enough. It's really light. Um, I'll be. As for other changes, um, that had nothing to do with testosterone. I have finished school. I have gotten surgery. And I've changed my name all in the first six months of being on testosterone. In fact, the first hours of being on testosterone for my uh, name change, which was awesome. Um, so a lot has changed, and I moved out. So my entire life has basically like flipped in the past six months, which is really nice. Um, it's kind of nice to start. It's almost like starting fresh. <laughs> Another squeak in my video, always. Right? I mean, it's really changes like everybody else is talking about. Everybody has the same general changes. Um, my voice dropped first, and my hair is growing in later, I guess. That's just how it's working for me. Alright. Time, time to get undressed here, I guess. <laughs> I like unzip as I'm talking. It's, warm outside. <clears throat> it's not warm outside. It's like 40, not even. 35. Alright. So, they're pink again, which is good. Um, obviously I've had my binder on so you can see, like, the squares where the pattern was. Maybe get off that. Um, but it's looking good. There's still a lot of swelling right here, as you can see. It's, like, hard. But everywhere else is doing really well. Let's see if I can get a better light on this. Mm. Yeah. Um, my liposuction hole here has been itching a lot, and the one over here hasn't really bothered me, luckily. Um, one of the stitches came out of the one on this side yesterday, uh, which I'm glad about because the stitches were getting pulled in different directions, and it was kind of hurting. But, um, yeah. Seems to be doing well. Um, I'm happy with everything that I've seen so far, all my results. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to have a lot of the black around the edges gone, so now I just have a pink chest. Um, I mean, you can see how flat it is. It, it's, it's a huge change from what I had before, and I wasn't really that big, so he did a really, really good job. I am extremely pleased. I have almost no scalloping around the edges of either of the nipples. Um, my only complaint, and I'm going to see if I can get in the dark here because it actually helps, is this rash. I don't know if you guys can see it. All over here, all up here, and all here. It's like, <laughs> it 
looks bad. Uh, there we go. It itches all the time, and I can't stand it. And my girlfriend's leaving for work, so I'll give it to you. <clears throat> but yeah, um, other than those minor problems, I'm not having any issues at all with my chest. Uh, I have pretty much no pain at all. Except, I mean, if I push on my chest, there's bruising, so it hurts. But when I'm lifting stuff, normal stuff, under like five pounds, I don't lift anything because I don't want to. Uh, but the heaviest thing I pick up is my little puppy, and she's not very heavy. Right? Um. Hey, don't bite me. Don't bite me. Taking them out is the only problem I have because the door here in the apartment building is kind of heavy to get inside. So I kind of have to like lean my entire body back to open it. Probably look pretty stupid, but I don't really care. Um, what are you doing? Calm down. One weird thing that I have noticed. Really? Really? Get off me. Is my nipples are leaking. Get down. <clears throat> Plasma. So after I shower, I'll look down and there's just like this wet, pasty shit. Not pasty, gooey shit. And it'll actually dry on my fingertips, and it sticks to shit. It's really creepy. Um, but, I mean, that's what it's supposed to do. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's doing well. I can't believe I'm six months on T and have top surgery done, and everything's set to go. Um, and like I put in my other video, I am now officially a certified paramedic. So, I am looking for jobs. Um, I have to wait 12 weeks, he said, from surgery day until I can start lifting people again. So, I have I have a while to find a job. There goes Sarah. Um, but I can go back to my other job in probably like four, four weeks, I'd say. Another month. So, I have just been playing video games and doing nothing all day, except for hanging out with the dogs. Um, I'm trying to figure out what this rash is from. I have no idea. It's not on my back at all. It's only on my chest, so I doubt it's from the binder, but at the same time, it might be, um, especially since I've been wearing it for two weeks and it hasn't been washed because it needs to be hand washed and I don't have time to let it dry. Um, I've been putting like a undershirt on over the little pads on my nipples and then putting the binder on over that to keep it off my skin, um, and the rash hasn't really done anything. So I think it's from the best of tracing, um, but I'll deal with the rash to have the healing. <laughs> so it's not, I mean, it's not that bad. It's just all over here. So, um, I really think that's it. I'm just excited to be six months on testosterone, and I can't wait for the next six months to see what changes. Um, yeah, I'll put in a couple clips at the end to show you guys now and then and uh, I hope everybody had a really good New Year's and let's all start a new year alright guys Bye. what's up guys my name's Kobe I live in uh, Cleveland Ohio let me think what else about myself I am pre t pre-surgery pre-everything oh, you know everything there is to do so I just made an appointment with a therapist for next Monday. Went to my therapy appointment this morning. I only have one more. I went to my gender team meeting. They all said go for me for testosterone. Two days. Two days until I go to the endocrinologist. Not tomorrow morning, but the next morning. So it has officially been one week on T. As of tomorrow, I am four weeks on testosterone. Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, this is my eight week video. Um, next week-ish will be, uh, Three months on T. It is 19 weeks on testosterone from today. It is officially the day before surgery. In uh, 24 hours, I will be in the operating room. I am post-op. Hooray! Uh -huh. Things are swollen and odd. I figured. Wait. Look at this. Looks good.